Hello, friends. Um, this is a basically laser transceiver that I made uh, tonight, just as an experiment, um, using one of my friend's laser diodes. Um, and so there is a, it's hard to see, but there's a photoresistor in there. Um, if you look really closely, you might be able to see it. And then um, there's a laser diode there, which I have actually successfully tested that laser diode to work at 5 volts, which is amazing because most of them can't handle that. Um, and it gets really bright. And so I have two laser diodes, that one, um, which transmits, it's supposed to transmit data back, but I don't have another receiver, so I just have another laser diode at the other end of the room, which is all blurry, uh, which basically I'll use to shine into this little, like, um, aluminum foil thing that basically focuses the light and allows it to hit that little photo diode, um, photo resistor, sorry. And so this transistor here, dang it, uh, can amplify that signal and then we'll send it back to you in basically a repeater, repeating circuit to just, you know, verify that the thing's working. So let's go to the other side of the room and shoot lasers at it. So, I do not really have a tripod, so this will be a bit difficult, but there. basically there's a laser diode, but there's also an LED um, on the device that will flash very brightly if I hit it, which I will. All right, here's my laser diode, which has a fidgety circuit, but it works still. Um, and it is very bright and precise. So. Just hit this, and the white light will shine brightly. It's very hard to hit, especially with a human hand that always wavers, but oh well. If I had it connected to a bunch of servo motors and stuff, and like I could adjust it that way with the computer, it'd be super precise. But um, that's kind of the drawback of this kind of technology. I think NASA was doing some experimentation with this, but anyways, that's just, I hope you saw the light. Um, and that is basically